What's up guys? This is Rudy from virtualrocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to fix your rock band drum pedal. If your rock band drum pedal broke like it's broken for many other people, it probably snapped right down the middle. Ours broke right down the middle and it broke down here at the hinge, so at two separate places. When we saw that it broke at the hinge, we felt like we were in pretty big trouble. But luckily for us, we've been talking and working with the guys over at Pedal Metal. Pedal Metal is a company that has made the best fix for the Rock Band drum pedal. So this guy, right here, comes with the pedal, the hinge piece, screws, instructions, everything you need. Super simple, super easy. We're going to walk through it with you guys today, step by step, and show you that not only does it fix your pedal, it makes your pedal look ultra sick. So let's do it. Okay, this is our setup. We want to make sure we have all our proper tools and materials in front of us. Now we are going to be mounting the pedal metal billet style with hinge. This is going to be a complete fix for our pedal because our pedal broke right in the middle and snapped off at the hinge. So uh, this kit will fix all our problems with our pedal and is a complete fix. Step one, what we need to do is remove the metal pin from the hinge. We will not be using this metal hinge anymore because it broke. So uh, this is where we use our, our hammer and our nail or small screwdriver or some kind of punch. We're basically just going to pop that metal pin right out of there. Um, so pop right out. This plastic piece is not needed and that's it for step one. For step two we're going to be installing the metal pedal uh, onto the original rock band uh, drum pedal pieces. Starting from the top of the pedal kind of just make sure that it's even. Uh, just take a look by eye and by feel uh, fits perfectly on there. You want to start your first screw at the very top. Now for demonstration purposes I had already made holes uh, in mind to uh, to make this quicker for the video but for this first screw you just want to make sure it's you're going straight down into it and you're going to be you're going to be screwing uh, right into plastic and these are uh, self-drilling screws and they go in pretty easily, but just make sure you're not coming at an angle or anything funny. And make sure that everything's even. Just have a tight grip on it at first. Uh, for this top screw, don't go all the way down. Uh, leave it a little bit loose. And get your bottom piece. Now, grab your bottom piece of your pedal, plastic pedal. And uh, just make sure it's even and, and it fits properly. Just line everything up and go ahead and add a screw. Now for this bottom screw, same for the top screw. Don't screw it in all the way. Uh, leave it a bit loose as you want to make sure that everything's still lined up properly. Okay. Now go ahead and screw in, get all your other screws in, and we'll move on to step three. Alright, for step three, what we're going to be doing is installing the new plastic hinge. Uh, the plastic hinge uh, is inserted in between the aluminum pedal metal, right in between the new metal pedal and the old original plastic rock band part on the bottom. So. The four screws that we had installed from the previous step, we're going to take those out. So the purpose of those were just to set the holes in there, but uh, we're going to take those out, the bottom four screws, we're going to remove those. All right, four screws are out. Now this bottom plate is going to come off, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting our new plastic hinge, as you can see. And there is a T, it would be a written T or um, top on the, on the plastic. There will be four screws. Those four screws match up perfectly onto 
our metal plates and we're going to be getting the original plastic plate and putting that and sandwiching that new hinge right in between. Now you want to line up the holes. You want to line up the holes and make sure the all the holes, four holes align and then add your screws back in. And that's it for step three. Step four, what we're going to be doing is uh, setting the screws for the heel plate. Just line it up. Set your screws. Don't tighten these all the way. Um, just because this is going to make the last step a lot easier if it's not fully tightened. We're really just trying to set the screws and set the holes in there to get ready for the last step. Okay, step five and home stretch. So we're going to be installing our new pedal with hinge onto our base. So what we have to do is we have to remove the two screws and the uh, heel plate from the previous step. We're taking this out because we had screwed the screws in just to set the holes to make this step easier. Now we're going to use these screws so don't just set them aside, don't lose them. And we're going to get our we're going to get our spring set that in just right fits and get this orange piece get that slot where it's supposed to be there it goes All right and now you can see our new hinge the holes match up perfectly so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get that heel plate and we're going to sandwich the brand new hinge with the heel plate and the base of the pedal and we're going to do that using the last two screws we're going to match up those holes and we're going to secure the heel plate and the hinge now for these last two screws don't make them too tight the instructions state that you could strip these two screws, so don't over tighten these last two screws. We haven't run into that problem, but it's a warning they have on there. So I'm going to tighten it up, but not too tight. And voila, we're done. <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. That's amazing. And it looks sick too. So I got to thank uh, the guys at Pedal Metal for creating the perfect fix for all the rock band drum pedals out there. And uh, I got to thank you guys uh, for taking the time out just to watch our demonstration. And check out our website, uh, www.virtualrocker.com. Uh, at the shop, we carry both the billet style and uh, the billet style fix and also the diamond style um, hit with the hinge fix so you can check that out in the shop um, we also carry uh, licensed apparel for rock band lots of other gaming gaming accessories and um, the site's brand new and we also with the new site we just launched a new virtual rocker community site um, it's kind of like a myspace slash facebook uh, site for gaming um, you can create a profile, upload videos, post scores, and information about local tournaments. Um, we pretty much just made the community site uh, exclusively just for rock band and guitar hero gamers. So um, check us out. And uh, thanks for watching and take care. All the best.